Keysweed, the CMO of Unilever, uh, up on a, a very windy balcony in Cannes. Uh, so hi Keith, thank you for being Hello. with us. Hello, no, it's good to be with you. Thank you, and uh, I'd, I'd just like to start off by saying why is it so important as a marketer to be coming to Cannes? Well, I think the most important thing about Cannes is um, all the right people are here. Um, and whether, it, you know, I think initially it all started off with creatives and agencies, and then it was agencies, and then since then we've got content providers, the digital companies, the startups. So it's, it's the convening power. Mm. Um, and in you know, a few days, you can see an awful lot of people, yeah. but you can see an awful lot of content. You can be inspired yeah. about what's going on. So if there's something changing in the industry, you will hear about it here. Do you get much business done here? No, I would also do a lot of business, so it's a, it's a very good uh, rhythm, uh, it's sort of halfway through the year. So I've just had um, uh, a meeting with uh, Google and the Google team, and before mm. that, the Facebook team, and tomorrow the Twitter team. So we use this as a six-month uh, meetings as well, so around the other bits. Uh, because everyone's here, yeah. uh, we do one at CES, uh, the Consumer Electronics Show, yeah. uh, at the beginning of the year, and then another six-month here, mm -hmm. and then we plan from here what we're going to do within the next six months to arrive in January next year at the Consumer Electronics Show. A great way to have you all together in one place. Well, it gives a rhythm, and because people are here, so yeah, yeah you can then meet and, and do business. Yeah. yeah, and I know we're quite early on in the week still, but what are the big themes that you're feeling are emerging from Cannes 2015? Well, I think, um, you know, what's been the big driver which has shaped so much of what we've talked about over recent years has, of course, been technology. Mm. Um, and, and within that, uh, the shift to mobile, so mobile social data, and that's still ongoing. Mm -hmm. But I think what I, I'm finding now is actually People have sort of worked out about you know, technology, connects people, etc. Mm. But what's the content? Yeah. What are we connecting in? We've got the pipes, but what are we going to put down the pipes? Yeah. How do we inspire people? Yeah. Uh, Microsoft came out with a study last month uh, that says our average uh, attention span over yeah. the last 15 years has dropped from 12 seconds down to 8 seconds. Right. Whereas the good old goldfish has remained steady at 9 seconds. So officially, on average, we have less attention span than yeah. a goldfish. And what that means is we need to capture people's attention yeah. and then give them you know, snackable content, content they can consume in short periods of time. So yeah. it's no longer what's the greatest idea you've got, it's what's the greatest idea you've got in five seconds. Yeah, but to still make that engaging. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good challenge. Yeah, and with mentioning technology there, one of the themes that, um, that I, maybe not for the first time, but it's got a bigger presence here at Cannes is artificial intelligence. Yes. And why, why that maybe matters uh, to the broader kind of marketing community. Is, is AI on your radar? No, very much. I mean, this is a way to be able to engage people at scale. So, you know, we are a scale player. Two billion people use our products every day. Uh, and there's lots of great niche opportunities with technology. But what I'm interested in is how do I get to, you know, literally billions of people. Mm. Um, and AI can, you know, give real utility and added value content. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we, we've seen already sort of making data, smart data, with things like All Things Hair. Yes. We're working with Google and YouTube. Uh, we sort of predict hair trends before they happen, then mm -hmm. work with vloggers yeah. to then you know, show uh, people how to do this hairstyle. Mm -hmm. That's real utility. Mm -hmm. People like it, they get something, they're looking for a hairstyle, we show you how to do it. Yeah. But if we get on the, uh, on the AI side, um, in, uh, in Africa, uh, we started uh, working on Knorr, uh, which mm -hmm. we're now taking further with a startup. So it's another theme right. um, with a startup. Uh, around um, mobile phone, where you can actually just put in a simple text phone, it's not a smartphone, a simple text mm -hmm. phone, put in the ingredients you have in your fridge, send it off, and then Chef Wendy comes back and says, well, you can make you know, a chicken soup or a chicken chasseur or whatever yeah. with the recipe uh, for you. Now, right. the way it comes back, it's so chatty, yeah. you assume there's someone on the other end. Yeah. Absolutely not. And so this Chef is Wendy is... Yeah, yeah. AI. No, I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry <laughs> to let you down, and I don't need to get disappointed. Yeah. But absolutely, but yeah. the chat back on a forward in text, you'd never know. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. it actually, it's a machine. Yeah.